Hey everyone, I'm going to show you my reverse flow filter that I built for my uh, 75 gallon going to be planted tank. Um, this is a 15 gallon barrel. Um, I'll just start with what I see. I've got a drain here with uh, three quarter inch uni seals and a valve and I just put a hose bib adapter out there. Um, it has a two inch uh, shower drain. I tried to use a uni seal on it but the barrel was too thin and my hole saw was out of around and made the hole too big and it just leaked. I tried to wrap the uni seal with Teflon but I couldn't get it to work. Uh, so I just went with this drain and Actually, it probably worked a little better. I've got this plumbing on here just to kind of quiet the drip down. I don't have the sump full. And this pipe here, this elbow is loose, so, but this is glued in solid. I'll show you here. This is where my overflow is, and my, you can see it's it's running a full siphon on inch pipe over here and just a trickle in this other one. Uh, the two inch pipes go into this uh, inch and a half elbow. Well, it's, I guess you would call it a sanitary uh, T or a, it's not really a Y. But, and I just I connected to the tank with a, a Firmco coupling because I wanted to be able to remove it if I had to. I used long sleep elbow down inside and I used the cap and drilled my inch and a half pipe through it and then it goes down in the bottom. I'll try to get this cap off one handed. There we go. You can see it running there. There's a few air bubbles coming out of it, but uh, most of the noise is from that two inch drain. Um, I'll have to quieten that down a little bit. Uh, some of us are coming back through that mess of pipe I've got added on there. I hope you can see in here pretty well. But this pipe here is six inch uh, SDR pipe. Uh, and what I did was I had some three inch pipe that I cut a piece off of and I cut it in half and heated it with a heat gun and melted it up to here so that it would go down and so my pipe wouldn't fall inside and keep it with the level I wanted for my cap to fit on. Plus it doesn't really rock back and forth or anything like that. But we'll take that out and you'll hear that that's where all the noise is coming from. But, uh, that'll quiet down when I get some more, when I get this set up all set up a little better. But I got a YouTube down there, and uh, it comes back up an inch and a half. It's about an inch below the water level when it's running. I may try to go a little shorter. I don't know yet, but. Right now, I'm pretty happy with it. This three-quarter pipe on the one side, it goes through the other side, too. But in the middle, there's a three-quarter by one inch by three-quarter T with a piece of one inch facing down to the bottom so that it'll suck up from all my junk and stuff the best I can and then I'll back out the rest with my water changes. So I just wanted to show you this reverse flow filter and walk you through what I've done with it. It's pretty simple. If it does any filtering at all it'll be worth its weight in gold to me and plus the fact that I I've got roughly 12 gallons more of water in my system. 
I just built a little box. I've got some water on the floor, but that's just from me messing around. I built a box so it's set up at the right height for my drains and stuff. There you go, you can see how that is. Plumbed in. But, uh, that's it, that's my reverse follow filter. There's my setup. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, shout out to DIY Fish Keepers and all the guys on YouTube that's helped me out. Uh, have a good day.